The New York Times, though, by the way, has reported that Justice Clarence Thomas told conference goers at an event in Dallas this weekend that the leaked Roe draft opinion has destroyed trust within SCOTUS. He said, quote, what happened is tremendously bad. I wonder how long we're going to have these institutions at the rate we're undermining them. I don't know. What do you think about that? I mean, I don't see the courts going away anytime soon. I mean, you know, for him to say that the I look, I get the idea that SCOTUS is supposed to be this kind of um, above the fray, above politics. It's supposed to stay out of all of that. But that's just not that's just not the reality of SCOTUS. It's never been that way. They've often ruled based on the climate, uh, the the cultural climate of the day. Uh, and they are a political body, whether they like it or not. They're, they're appointed by politicians uh, and then they're confirmed by politicians. And these politicians are selecting SCOTUS justices based on a lot of uh, politics. So, you know, I, I, I understand that this whole the leak was a was a you know this oh my gosh this has never happened before i don't even know if that's really 100% true i think it has uh, to some you know maybe some other levels happened before maybe not to this degree but i don't think this is undermining the institution any more than the institution is already undermined not that you know again i think scotus is is actually still very much a political institution unfortunately and fortunately at times because it does rule, like I said, you know, with the climate of the culture. It does. I Probably one of my most sort of institutionally conservative views is that I, 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 I like the Supreme Court and I want it to maintain its credibility. The fact that it has more credibility than Congress or the executive branch is something we should try to protect somewhat. So I, I, I do take his point that this kind of stuff starts to undermine it starts to make the supreme court look like it's part of this ridiculous theater of you know the television show veep or just the craziness of dc and we ought not to to give that impression Uh, not that this you know individual thing is the end of the world but i just think we have to live in reality and the reality of it is is that scotus has always been a political uh, a political arm just as much as any of the other branches i mean you know i we could try to pretend like these guys are all the, you know, these wise old people in their robes uh, d- making decisions truly based on, you know, what is the be- best for the people and, uh, you know, all of these like w- wisdom things like there's some sort of, you know, like, yeah. but it's just not reality. I mean, the reality is, is that it's it's been an activist court for a long time and it, it has been and they oftentimes will go back and reverse a ruling that was once made by a previous SCOTUS. And, you know, that is what it is. So I I don't think that this undermined them any, uh, you know, and I I actually think it's fine to go ahead and put a little pressure on them. Uh, They make decisions based on that anyway, whether we're doing it or not. So I I just think it's like a facade that Mm. I, I don't mind people realizing is not the reality with them.